All right, now we're going to work on a kite. Kite has a bunch of properties, uh, no parallel sides. Not having something is necessarily a property, but it's kind of a classification. So we can't build it based on no parallel sides. We got to go after something else. So B says there are two sets of congruent adjacent sides. That means the sides next to each other are the same, but the other two sides are also the same, just not the same as that. You know what a kite looks like. And the diagonals are perpendicular. Well, we know how to make a perpendicular. So we're going to make a perpendicular, and that's going to be our diagonals. And there are these other properties. One diagonal is bisected. Well, that happens. Um, we can build based on that. We can kind of, kind of remember that. So that helps our build with diagonals being perpendicular. One pair of congruent angles. It's hard to build angles. Um, We've got to line them up. It's easy to build the angle. It's hard to line them up. And the other pair of angles is bisected. So there's the properties. We're going to build based on diagonals being perpendicular, and one of the angle, one of them is actually bisected, cut in half. So let's make a perpendicular. So start with a line, start with a line segment. That's not what I want. Starts with a line. All right. And we're going to make a perpendicular here. Again, that was two circles to make a perpendicular. Any size circles will make a perpendicular. Yeah, what size? Let's use B. All right. So I need to find the intersection of those two circles. Click over here on the circles. I need to draw a line through there. And let's do E and F. E, F. So there's our perpendicular. So those are our diagonals. You know, it can run top to bottom, it can run side to side, whatever. Now you just gotta decide where to put your kite. I mean, if you just wanna, you can't just rough it, because you gotta make it, first of all, the, one of the diagonals has to be cut in half. So this makes it look like an odd orientation the way it is, but we could do it here. We have to make sure that the line running diagonal here and the line running diagonal here were the same size, and the one here and here and the one here and here were the same size. Well, it's going to make a lot more sense if you actually turn everything. Turn it all so that it looks more like we can do this. I'm going to get A out of the way, maybe. Won't they move for me? They won't move for me. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So, we need to make from here over to this line and here over to this line the same size. Well, I can use the circle for that actually. So, and then I got to make from this line up to here and this line up to here be the same size. Again, use the circle for that. Use intersections. So, I'm going to go from here over to here. And because I'm going to make a polygon, i got to go all the way around. Here, down to here. Up to here. Double clicked on myself. Boom. 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 There's your kite. We made a perpendicular, and then we built the sides based on some different things. You know, now, you might not be sure that these two sides, F to this dot and E to this dot, are the same size, and I'm okay with that. But you do know that F to the middle here and E to the middle here, because it's the middle of the circle, it's bisected. So that was one of our properties. Let's try that differently with the properties that the up and the top bottom are the same. And let's make sure we, we can make them the same. So we'll leave this here just for reference. Because we made this based on the diagonals being perpendicular. And one of the diagonals, E to F, is getting cut in half. And we know that they're getting cut in half in there. We're just going to make two circles. It's the same kind of construction, but it's going to be based on the other property. I'm going to make a circle. I'm going to make another circle that's bigger. 
and now I'm going to find those intersections of the circles. And that is where I draw my polygon to. I'm going to go There, 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 funny looking kite, huh? I got to go from the center to the edges. Does that look at any better of a kite? Try and bring G up, bring G down, and H in, H out. There's our kite. Now we know GJ is the same size as GK. Those are radiuses, radii of one circle. We know IJ and IK are the same size because radius and radius. You don't believe me they're the same size? We can measure them. I just measured slope. Come on. Click on distance. And boom. Boom. Adjacent congruent size. Measure. Measure. Adjacent congruent size. So, two different properties to build with. One, adjacent congruent size. Make two circles different size, and make sure that you use the radius of the circles to draw your kite. And then this other way over here was making a perpendicular and making sure that one of the diagonals got bisected. Anywhere I move this point, as long as I'm still on that line, Make them bigger, make them bigger, make them bigger. It's still a kite. It doesn't matter which way I turn it, it's still a kite. So, make the diagonals perpendicular and make sure one's bisect. Make the congruent adjacent sides. That's constructing a kite. It takes two circles, different sizes.